Welcome everybody to the Knockout Man Podcast Show, where we park in politic with all our guests today. My name's Lockout Man, and today's guest is a returning guest. She is a friend of the show. You guys know her as Rockabye Billy, but she's going by Camille today. Is it? I, I, I pronounced your name right, right, Camille? Yeah, you did. All right, all right. So first thing first, Camille, what have you been since the last time uh, Since the last time we talked? I mean, a lot of stuff has changed. I mean, what, what you been into since the last time we talked? Uh, not really a whole lot. Still trekking to the same place. Still got red hair, got more tattoos. Oh, you got more tattoos. Okay. How, how many tattoos? How how many tattoos did you have when we first talked? And how many tattoos that we got today? Uh, I think I was sitting around 32. Now I stopped counting at 40. Damn, 32 and a, and and at 40. Now, again, we we spoke uh we spoke back uh back when last year. So how how's the trucking been going for you? Still going pretty great. Still doing it. Still at the same company. All right. No no if ands or buts or nothing like that. No no look backs. No no nothing. No, if anything, I'm getting more and more comfortable with it. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. All right, all right. Now, kind of refresh my memory. Now, did did we mention the company name where you at or no? I don't think so. So I just work for S&P Trucking. You who? S&P Trucking. S-N-P? And P, like salt and pepper. Oh, S&P Trucking. Okay, where where are they out of? They, they, they out where you at? Let me see. You're out of what? Idaho? Yep. Oh, so that's where they're out of at? Out of Idaho? Yes, sir. All right. Well, see, listen, if a company treating you well, then you should stay with that company. You know, you probably might want to retire from that company. Did they give you a raise yet? Oh, yeah. I've gotten a lot of raises since I started here. Oh, okay. That's what's up. How long How long has it been since, uh, how, how long has it been uh, since you've been rocking with that company? Uh, two years on February 5th. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so let's see what else has changed, man. Yo, you you had a you had a bomb ass Instagram, and on Instagram you was going by the name of Rock. I think I pronounced it wrong. I, I know I said Rock a Bye Billy, but is it is Rock a Baby Billy? Wasn't it? <laughs> no, Rock a Billy Barbie. Rock a Billy Barbie. See, that's pfft, see. I, I I need to hit myself. Hold on. <laughs> See, I need to hit that. Uh, rock a Billy Barbie. Break break down again what is Rock a Billy Barbie. That's rock and roll hillbilly that likes to dress night. There you go. There you go. What what happened to the what happened to the Instagram, yo? Uh, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. I started seeing somebody and I actually deleted pretty much everything, all of my social media. Except for Facebook. Whoa, 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 whoa! Now, whoa, now. Um, did, did you have a good number of followers on on Instagram? I I could have sworn you had a good number of followers on Instagram. I had a pretty good amount of followers, sadly. And, and and you did all and you you deleted all of that for the guy that you are you still with the guy? Oh no. Oh no. Do you do you regret giving up the Instagram because of the guy? Oh hell yeah. <sighs> if I would have known what kind of person he was, I wouldn't have given him shit. I wouldn't have given up shit either. <laughs> <laughs> so let me wait, was he a truck driver? No. 
Do you have anything against Trump? Uh, no, he just had a thing for his ex. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. So that means truck drivers still have a chance with you then, right? Oh, okay. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. See there, truck drivers? Y'all still got a chance. Um, So you, I mean, so you, you didn't get a tattoo of his name, did you? Oh, fuck no. Oh, uh, no. Okay, okay. I just want I, I just want to make sure that, you know, you didn't go to the extreme because, you know, you, you're a female and you love tattoos and you're, you're a super trucker. But you're a young super trucker. <laughs> How long you been in the gang? Just over two years. November was my two year mark of being licensed. All right. So you you're a young super trucker in the game. Where where did you where did you get your super trucker license from? That's what I want to know. CR English. <laughs> no, I, I'm not. No, I'm not talking about your regular license. Oh, wait, who? CR English. Oh, okay, yeah. We if you guys want to know more about where she initially got her license from, check out our first interview that we did. But anyway, I'm talking about your super trucker license. What gives you Rockabye Billy? Rockabye. Where the fuck I keep getting rock? You know where I get Rockabye from? That movie, New Jack City, where the chick was like, Rockabye, baby. Rockabye, baby. But it's. I've rock never seen it. Oh, you got to see it. You got to see it. It's called New Jack City. Make make sure you see it. You know, it's probably might be on Netflix, Hulu. You know, if you have a bootleg uh, fire stick, you could probably look it up that way. New Jack City. Make sure you watch it. Good movie, by the way. But anyway. Rocka Billy Barbie, you know what I'm saying? Where did you? I, I'm, I'm still trying to get. I'm, I'm still trying to find out where you got your uh, your your super trucker license. Uh, let, now let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Why do you? Why? What? What is the qualifications? Okay, what's the qualifications of being a a young super trucker? I mean, you only got two years in the game now. I don't know. I don't really consider myself a super trucker other than you got to wear pajamas with your shit kicker boots to be a super trucker, you know? Mm. Mm. She, she, she. Wait. Bra- oh, go ahead. What'd you say? I was just going to say, isn't that pretty much the aesthetic of it? Well, yeah, you got to represent, you, you, you got to represent and you got to dress the part. You know, I talked to, uh, I talked to trucker chick last night. And we had a we we had an awesome conversation about uh, about how females representing themselves here in the industry. Now, don't get me wrong. You're you're you you're you're you're, fine, you're a fine female. You step up out the truck, tattooed down, and all like that. But you representing yourself as a trucker by not like not showing your sexuality, right? Correct. So what what what's what's your what's 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 the what's the apparel that 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 you rocking right now? What what do you have on right now? Uh, pretty much a pair of Wranglers, a sweatshirt, and shit waders. So when you actually get out of when you actually get out of the truck, you know, say like you going you know walk across the parking lot, or or uh. Or at the fuel island, you 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 represent you representing yourself as you know as the as the as the trucker that you are. But do you have any men that come? Do you have any men that that come like 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 uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, disrespectful. Some men that look at you like you know you're a pretty girl. Now I'm sure your head, you know, you're not covering up your head, and your head looks fire, you know, with the red hair and everything like that. You're looking all pretty, but you're representing the the trucker aesthetic. What what type of vibe do you get when when you walking into the you know in the in the fuel island or in the fuel parking lot or whatever the case? I definitely get stared down pretty hard. <laughs> There's some trucker out there, I don't know who it is, I never met him, just every so often I'll hear him come onto the CB and say, like, it's that beautiful redhead girl again, you're giving me a heart attack, just random 
weird things like that. I, I recognize the voice, but I don't know who's saying it. And I'll hear that every so often come on over the TV. <laughs> man, oh man. So you so you rocking everything. You even got you you even got the C D. What? <laughs> what? Of course. What? You got the you you got the C B, Camille, for real. Yeah, we, we of rock, course. We rocking the CB. Do, now, let me ask you a question. Do you rock? Do do you rock the CB? Uh, do you rock the CB while while it's on? All day. Yeah, pretty much. It's on all day. Just hanging out and listening. Tell tell me uh t- tell me a few sound bites of the CB. A few what? A few sound bites. A few what? A few sound bites? Yeah, sound bites. What, what, what's what's the what's the CB chatter? What 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 have you heard on the CB uh, that might be interesting? Oh, I've heard other truckers like cussing each other out with your mom jokes and whatnot. And then I chimed in and been like, "You eat my mother out of this," and then all of a sudden it goes quiet, and that makes my day. <laughs> <laughs> Or like I'll hear truckers mouthing off to each other at truck at truck stops, saying like, "Oh, you get out of your truck, I'm gonna whoop your ass." Blah 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 blah. And I'll be like, "Well, oh, why don't you get out of your truck, you fat sack of shit?" Wow, man! See, I, <laughs> and I'm see, like driving down the freeway. I'm not even at the truck stop. <laughs> see, I'm I'm missing I'm I'm missing all of that because I keep my shit off. Like you know, I only I mean, call it what you want, guys. I'm just saying. You know, I, I just leave my shit off because I don't want to hear all of the rhetoric. I really I'm I'm that one that turns it on when I'm in a like when it's a, a pile up on the on the highway or when it slows down or traffic. Yeah, I'm that guy. That guy right there. I'm just saying. All right. So you're missing some good stuff. Oh, you said I'm missing some good stuff, huh? It's entertaining. <laughs> All right, so we uh we 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 got back together because you're one of the runner ups in. Hold on, right quick. Let me get it up here. Let me get it up here now. Hold on. Let me get it up here. You're one of the runner ups in Ink Magazine this year. Uh, you're 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 a runner up for the uh for the uh cover of ink magazine how how did uh how did that come about uh one of my friends actually sent it to me and told me that i really needed to sign up for it and give it a shot so hey what the hell it doesn't really do any harm why not so did they so did they did did what you do just uh just sent the pictures in to them or you just contacted them and say hey you know i'm I'm rocker Billy Barbie and I want to be, you know, you know, I got, you know, these tattoos and yada, yada, yada. Pretty much. I sent in a couple photos and my name and all that. All right. So let's, let's, uh, let's see what, what these photos are looking at. So this one, right, man, this one right here, this one right here got summertime vibes going right now. And whoever, whoever your photographer is, that didn't Photoshop this this butt right here. He needs to be shot, bruh. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bruh. That that little photo bomb of the uh, of, of the little dog right there. I'm just saying. But uh, where where was this taken at? It was taken in Pine, Idaho. Where you from? That looks like. Did you know what? I think this. You know what this picture right here giving me a vibe of. It's giving oh. it's giving me the vibe of Prince and Apollonia. Have you uh soaked yourself in the Lake Minnetonka? Well, for starters, you have to purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. What? <laughs> purple rain, y'all. Purple, pur- purple rain. If uh, okay, all right. I, I guess you haven't seen. <laughs> I guess you haven't seen purple rain. Tell me, you not have not seen purple rain. I have not seen it. Camille, Purple Rain? 
Clark, I'm serious. I haven't seen it. Oh, my God. That, that's two <sighs> movies that you got to go and watch. You got to watch Purple Rain and you got to watch New Jazz City. Anyway, anyway. So these, uh, these, uh, these are the other pictures that you sent in. Oh, you got a mean ass one. What what is this one right here on the leg and the upside down moon? What's 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 now all your all your tattoos symbolize something, I take it, right? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so this one right here with the upside down moon and the and the mean ass butterfly skeleton thingy. What 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 what's 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 that? What's that going on? So that's a ram skull with a death moth and a crescent moon. Okay, okay. Now, of course, like I said before, everything has a sim uh, symbolization. So, what does that symbolize? Uh, it pretty much symbolizes my detachment from organized religion and my um, growth towards spirituality, essentially. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, hold on right quick. The next one right here. Oh, that's a picture of you with your little Popeye shirt on. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, this one right here. Now, this, the silhouette, the silhouette right here is pretty nice, but what's the picture on, on your thigh? What's, what's that one? On my thigh. Uh, I've got a few on my thigh. Well, you got, it's, it's, it's. It's looked like a picture of a flower or something like that. It's like right on the it's like if I'm if I'm looking at it, I think it's probably look like it's on your left side right there. Or Oh, I've got I've got roses on each hip. Oh, okay, okay. And look like you got this what's that in the middle of your of your of your stomach just right right below your boob line? That is a, a bull because I am a tourist. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, Camille. But you say all together you got about you got about forty uh about forty tattoos all over your body. Do you do you have a sleeve? Now you know what I you know what I shouldn't have did because when you had your Instagram, man, you you had some killer you had some killer uh, photos of your of your tattoos. What is the one on your chest? Because I can't find I can't find it in your in your I mean in your um, in your uh, Facebook photos. Yeah, so that one's a work in progress. I'm actually doing another session on it February 9th. That one it's it's a demon woman holding a heart. And what it's going to be is she's going to have the seven deadly sins floating around her. And then essentially my capital sin will be on the heart. So she's holding it. And then it'll be cathedrals going up to my uh, collarbone slash shoulders. Wow. When did you, when, when, you know, the first question that, that was asked in the magazine, I'm going to put on top of that. But when was your first tattoo? And what was it? <laughs> I think a uh, first actual real tattoo that wasn't in a shop. I think I was 16. And it was two Playboy bunnies on my back dimple. Okay, 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 okay. But those are covered up. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why you get them covered up? What, what happened? What, what was the matter with it? Because me and my friends were all smoking a lot of pot, and they decided to tattoo me. Okay, it showed. <laughs> it did not look good. Wow. Okay. Okay. What about what? What about the one? What? What about this tattoo of a horse head on your shoulder? You still got that one? Yes, I do. That one is it's a horse head on my right shoulder. It says "Cowgirls Don't Cry." All right. Now, where where was the where where? where what was what was that one about? What you just saw it in a in a in a thing? You like it or that symbolized something? That symbolizes something between me and my dad. It's talking about this girl's father taught her how to ride, and even though she got bucked off the horse, she got back on so many times. And her dad was always there for her. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. 
So what about what what about these tattoos? Now you got again you got forty uh, a little bit over forty of them. Do you got a sleeve? Do, you, do is one of your arms sleeved or not? Or are you working on that? Yeah, no, one of my arms is almost completely sleeved, it's about three quarters of the way. I just got to finish the inner part of my upper arm and tie it all together. Okay, okay. Now, is getting is 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 it true that getting tattoos is addictive? Yeah, <laughs> very. So, is there any is is there any anywhere on the body? Well. I mean, I, I I I don't think there's not anywhere on a body where a tattoo can go because I I think I pretty much I watch a lot of porno to see that tattoos could go just about <laughs> anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. So of course you got you. I'm 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 going to assume you got one on the small of your back, and if you do, what is it? Uh. It's- a couple of dandelions and a uh, lacy pattern. Okay. For my tra- tramp stamp tattoo. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So you you are, being that it's addictive and you already got a little bit over forty. You said you're going to get more. So what other parts of the body that you could possibly put more tattoos on? Well, I think I'm at a point where combining them all now piecing them all together i'm gonna get my entire back done i'm gonna get my legs all done sleeves chest um pretty much everywhere oh my like God. nothing's off off limits except my face nobody yeah. is touching my face yeah, I, 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 was about, I was about to ask you because you know I, I see a lot of guys and a lot of females they love putting tattoos on their face and you know, they little name, a little heart. Why why you don't want it not now, Camille, I am gonna say your you, your face is pretty. I'm I'm really gonna I I'm honestly gonna say that. And I mean it depends on what type of tattoo, uh what type of tattoo. I, I hope that you stay your ground and not get nothing done to your face though. But what about what about now? I know you're not going to get nothing done to your face, but what about your neck? Uh, hit or miss. At this current moment, I have absolutely no plans of getting my neck tattooed. All right, that's that's another that's another good thing too. I mean, you know, you got you got you got you know such a pretty neck that's connected to your pretty face, and I, I really don't want to, you know, I, again, you know, it depends on what type of tattoo because some females do have some pretty tattoos on their face. You know what I'm saying? It still it still complements the good look of their face, but I, yeah. I don't want I, I don't want, you know, to go overboard or anything like that. Um so of course you're in the running uh of Ink Magazine's uh cover girl. Uh there's you, you up against a lot. As a matter of fact, uh I've reached out to another young lady that uh that's that's in the running uh, i'm not sure if she's gonna come on or not but she's in the running how many how, how many people how many females is in the running for 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 cover girl because right now this says this what it says right here is eighth in your group i have no idea how many people are actually running honestly all right so guys if you guys want to uh you know, vote for Camille. Make sure you go to cover uh cover ink magazine dot com. Uh and probably what? Backslash Camille. Well, you know what? I'll probably uh well ain't no probably it ain't no probably about it. I'll put the link in the uh description below so you guys could click on it and uh definitely go and uh vote for her. She's currently number eight in your group. And um and hopefully you'll be able to snatch it up. Uh, so if you was to if if you was to get the cover of of this this prestige magazine cover, uh, they offering twenty five they offering twenty five k. What would you do with that money? To be honest with you, that twenty five k would be absolutely life changing. I'd 
get rid of about $19,000 worth of personal debt. So all I have to pay for is my house. And then after that, probably get some more tattoos. <laughs> what else are you going to do with tattoo money, right? You know, right? You know, right? So other than, other than, uh, other than getting this together right here, other than getting that together, um, what 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 else what else what else more what else more is that about uh what what up what else more is that about what do you mean uh tw- you know you're gonna you're gonna take that pay for everything get it out the way um you you're not gonna blow it all though right i mean you're gonna put some of it in no. the bank well yeah i'm gonna put some of it in the bank but being able to pay off like $19,000 worth of my debt, which is pretty much all I have aside from my mortgage, that's going to save me about $500 a month easy in payment. So about 40, you, you got over 40, like you got over 40 tattoos. How much, yeah. all, how much, how much, how much is that invested? How, how much you invested in all of that? Thousands. Easy. What which tattoo that you have on your body right now you would say cost the most, and how much? Um, I've got a tattoo that's on my forearm. It's actually the second tattoo that I ever got. Lots of detail, lots of color, and that one cost me eight hundred fifty, nine hundred dollars for that one. Okay, 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 okay. All right, and of course, truck driving gave you the opportunity to keep your tattoos growing right of course (laughs) kind of another reason why i picked it (laughs) okay okay well listen here camille thank you very much for coming on uh again awesome we always have a chance to do the damn thing i really do appreciate you doing the damn thing um so what what's next for you? Um, I'm gonna get ready to do a photo shoot tomorrow morning actually to get some better pictures going on for the Ink magazine to also help my chances. All right, all right. Well, make sure make sure I get some of those mag uh some of those pictures, man, you know, so that uh so that we can all share in the in the Camille Tattoo Empire. Last question I got <laughs> for you. Do you have any piercings? Because you know tattoos goes with piercings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got quite a few piercings. Uh, the ones with jewelry in, I've got seven piercings. Well, we gonna have we 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 probably might hold on for the next time that you're gonna come on. But Camille, thank you very much for coming on. I really do appreciate it. And uh, you have a you definitely have a blessed night. And I hope you win. I hope you win. Well, thank you. I so, hope I do too. But you know, I gotta you, you know I might have another one coming on. So I'm you know I probably might gonna have to gonna have to let them you know shine too, right? I'm just saying. yes yes no hard feelings all right camille hey you stay blessed out there and i'll holler at you in a little bit all right you too peace